Shit, Jill. Kendo, you're all right. Yeah, all all right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a, uh, just bad timing is all. Well, look, um, don't worry about me. I'm going to make other arrangements, OK? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's, that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. If you're heading to the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? Launcher? Really? Every night. Who could that be? All right, I'm coming.
Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! Jill? Over here! Brad! You okay? What was that thing? Damn if I know. But right now it's got a hard-on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. How did this all happen so fast? I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. Hey! Hey, wait! Down here! God, Damn it! We could be dreaming. How could this many people be infected? Still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! I'm sorry, Brad. Sorry. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. 
Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Gio. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Nice job, super cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah. Mostly, but we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Oh, come on. Not again. It's me he's after. What? Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Jill. No. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. That would just be too cruel. What about him? Why'd you do it?
There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you if you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. Finally over. So long, Arcee. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. Human greed.